We're back on Fort Sam. Yes. We were here on Sunday. We had to come back because the museum is, was closed. Yeah. And uh, we wanted to see it. So it's we really had to come cool. back. Mm -hmm. So the um, this is the U.S. Army Medical Command Museum. Mm -hmm. It's on Fort Sam Houston or Joint Base San Antonio. So um, if you're not military, retired military, you have to get a pass to come on the installation yeah. to come to the museum. But the museum is free. Mm -hmm. So um, we're going to go check it out. And we're going to bring you with us. I was a medic for 20 years. I, I've looked at a lot of medical history. I've never seen this model of, <laughs> of ambulance <laughs> where they put folks on the hood. On the hood. They navigate. They're the GPS. <laughs> like you gotta, you can't even blocking. see over the guy. So he's gotta tell you where to go. <laughs> you hit something like dude's coming straight off. I ain't riding on the hood. I mean, put well, me in the back. Well, if it came down to leave you there or die, or you ride on the hood, you're gonna Man, you're probably going to die hood. anyway on the hood. That's crazy. Well, you gotta try. Hey, would you ride on the hood? Leave a comment. <laughs> Tell me if you ride on the damn hood. <laughs> I'll ride on the hood. Army medicine was brutal, man. It was, it was crazy. If war didn't kill you, Look, medical and dental might. They had my surgical suit. I'm, I can't even talk because I'm blown away. They got surgical kits with like hammers. Mm -hmm. Like we need a hammer. Well, we need a hammer. Well, they, they use hammers in the wars. I know now, no but back then they didn't even have good anesthesia and they oh, got no. hammers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like you got, like here's your shot of whiskey. Now we're going to hammer you. <laughs> You're going to get hammered. You're going to get hammered. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to get hammered before you get hammered. hammered yeah. I would definitely have to get hammered before I got hammered. <laughs> yeah. And then they're doing dental like in the woods. Just, in yeah, the woods. Just outside. It's a nice day. They might as well do some just dental surgery. Some root canal out. Yeah, let's pull a tooth or two. <laughs> Relax. Watch the birds <laughs> while we yank your face out. <laughs> yeah. Brutal. Brutal. Then folks right in the back. Yeah. <laughs> From the front. <laughs> you didn't fancy now we're just showing off. Yeah. Then folks right in the back of the spirit. <laughs> Again, yeah. just, just hanging folks on the outside of vehicles. Like, Riding shotgun. <laughs> Alright, here's a question. Okay. Would you rather be on the hood of the car <laughs> or on the outside of the helicopter? <laughs> I don't know. That's a tough one. Because on the you're exposed either way. Yeah. So it's an enemy fire, whatever. But this one, like. Maybe I would take my chances more than that because it travels faster for one yeah, thing. Yeah, harder to hit. It, it's a harder target. Hit. And being if there was if it was used during a war with more ground war than air attack. Yeah, this is like this was like Korea. Um, so I mean, I'm sure there it was, it was a lot of ground combat in Korea, but I'm sure if they see a 
a friendly, or if the Koreans see a U.S. aircraft flying by, they're gonna shoot at probably. Try, yeah. Um, I don't. I don't like flying anyway, so <laughs> I'll be as, as painful it is as it is for me to say. I would rather be on the hood of the car. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> And Leslie would rather be on yeah. the strapped on the outside of the helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know what you would prefer. Go to the car <laughs> or outside the helicopter. <laughs> get in the chopper. Get in the, no, not in. You well, don't get yeah. in. Uh, you get alongside the chopper. Get <laughs> strapped to the outside of the chopper. <laughs>they call the quad quad, quad triangle uh, on Fort Sam Houston and this is where the first Army Medical School was which started back in 19 well 1945 they were ordered to move here and yeah. started in 1946 lots of cool pictures from inside we went through the museum the yeah. Fort Sam Houston Museum and um, it's free yeah. completely free and now inside the quadrangle is it's like all walls around here yeah, it's like a little fort so seeing some of the some of the pictures inside there from like 1900s i mean there was one it showed uh, from the from the building right behind us the officers yeah. from 1919 yeah over a hundred years ago <laughs> um a big long picture of all the officers group. right in front of this this, this building right building. here yeah. which is just really cool knowing you're in the same spot where that happened you're yeah. in the same spot where the army medical school started um geronimo was here sure. for a yeah. little while before yeah. they decided what to do with him to send him back to fort sill and then we got, got to see his grave when we were at Fort Seal. Yeah. So if you haven't seen that video, go check mm -hmm. that out. And um, there's wildlife out here. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. They, um, no inside one really knows. Triangle. We talked to the guy inside the museum and no one really knows how they got they're here. here. Who brought here. them here. <laughs> um, it's all walls. So they, they don't get out. Yeah. Um, and they're it's very crazy. tame. They have food. We can feed them. So um, we'll walk around and check out the, the quadrangle. Yeah. And we'll go see if we can feed some wildlife what a day yeah. on Fort Sam Houston man yeah we're back in the truck because it's super windy it is very windy but now. uh man we had a lot of fun it was a lot of stuff that I never saw which is crazy as many times as you've been here for yeah. some sort of training man it's just really cool to know that I'm a part of that history yeah that medical uh, army medical history and um I don't know part of what really hit home was uh when we were walking through uh the Operation Iraqi Freedom yeah area I mean, yeah, because that was more current for you well that was my war yeah and so a lot of that hit home the 86th cash this which was the, the combat support hospital that i was evacuated to when i was wounded in action yeah uh so to see those 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 signs yeah from that hospital and and then to see the list of all the the fallen um, medics medical yeah personnel um we, that's crazy because it went like chronologically yeah in order so to see, you know, I was hit on, on July 15th, 2005 and wounded. And so to go and see where, where you I, would rank on the, well, on the list. I know, I know which two people I'd be between, between. if, if things yeah. would have went south that day, yeah. you know, if I'd have been killed, um, I'd be, I know exactly where I would be. Yeah. And to not be there is, uh, a, man, just awesome that I'm still around and, um, you know, you still kind of, you take stuff for granted, and, but when you have days like this, mm -hmm. you look at it and you go, man, nothing's that serious, and just thankful to be here, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really cool to be a part of the history. Hope you're having a good time, because we got, <laughs> we got more to show you. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, ready? Ready. There we go. Well, that's a little windy. But today we're at um, Mission San Jose yeah. in San Antonio. This is one of the five main missions, older missions that are in San Antonio. So I don't know if we're going to get to any of those today, but we'll definitely go into this one. Mm -hmm. Looks awesome from outside. Yeah. It's like big four walls. All the walls are made out of like what used to be Indian quarters. And uh, then the actual mission and yeah, convent. This, yeah. So I think that you can go inside and see some of it. So we'll, we'll take it with us. We're on a mission <laughs> to show you some missions. <laughs> Too corny? I do a little corny. <laughs> oh, wow. Now we're at Mission San Juan. Juan. We were at San Jose, now we're at San Juan. So um, if you're looking for something free and fun to do in San Antonio, hey, come out to check out the missions because the yeah, missions. They're, they're free and interesting stuff and yeah. just cool stuff to see in San Antonio. So, um, And it's a beautiful day. Gorgeous. Sunny and 70. Oh. Couldn't ask for a better day for, to be out and checking out the missions. And yeah. um, so we'll we'll go see the mission San Juan. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're at the Mission Espada. This is, I was getting ready to say, I was getting ready to say Hotel Espada. Yeah. Mission Espada as the oldest one, right? I believe so. Yeah, and the, the mission behind us is not the original mission. Like the last one we were at, San Juan, there was one that's no longer standing. And then they built this one. They're actually gonna build onto this one, build yeah. the foundation of it. And then uh, Mason was like, deuces. <laughs> Gotta like go back in 17 something, another 90s, 1790s. Yeah, so yeah, um, it's pretty cool out yeah. here. Um, it's one of the, it's, I think this is I the think smallest small. mission so, so far, far, yeah, but they're all really cool inside. They still mm -hmm. hold services in all these missions, yeah, on Sundays, which is really, really cool. cool. Yeah. Um, so I guess you can go in there and pray anytime, they're open during the day. Mm -hmm. You should make it your mission to come Just see the missions. Yes. <laughs> There's so much to see and, so, and, and to, to talk see. about and to read yeah. about the history of it. Uh, we can't share all that because it's just it'd be too much. And um, so there's a reason to come to San Antonio, yeah. and see all the missions. Yeah. It's just very interesting. Conception. Mission Conception. This is where they made the babies? Yes. <laughs> that's that's fake news. That's, <laughs> they didn't do that here. Well, maybe uh, they did. I don't know. <laughs> but that's not why it's called Mission Conception. All right, we are in Creepy Town. <laughs> it's not Creepy Town. This is used to be a, a hotel and bathhouse. Yeah, 
like a luxury for the elite. Yeah, there was big names that came here. Yeah, Valentino. Will Rogers. Will Rogers Roosevelt, Charlie Chaplin. Yeah. Lots of big names. Lots of big people came Locked through here. For the smelly water. <laughs> the, yeah, sulfuric <laughs> smelling, smelling bath, bath water. They, so, they say it had healing purposes. Yeah, right. <laughs> it smells like farts. <laughs> So, so this is very much similar to when we were in Excelsior. In Kansas City. Yeah, with Jerry and, and I Kelly. never would have thought we'd be back to a so place like this. Yeah. But it's interesting yeah. and it's kind of off the path of what everybody else does in San Antonio and that's the kind of stuff we like yeah. to check out. Um, it's, it's creepy. Um, it, I guess it burnt down twice. Yeah, yeah, that's what's kind of creepy, like bad juju on the land. Yeah. One year after opening its stores, it burnt to the ground and then somebody came through a developer rebuilt an even more luxurious version yeah and 30 years later it burnt to burnt the ground again. <laughs> so. and now it's just the ruins that are left yeah but you can tour the ruins so we're gonna tour the ruins let's go That's good. <laughs> so this is the before this is the after pretty cool I mean I was kind of expecting to be able to get in yeah it's fenced in all the way around you can still see in there pretty well yeah but probably just for safety. structural purposes yeah. I don't think it's it safe might to walk on fall yeah but it was really cool to see it is really cool. and so it's really quick I mean you can spend probably half hour here or so just reading all the all the plaques the and the history of it, of it yeah. and stuff but it's really cool yeah. um, it's worth stopping, stopping for a minute by. and seeing yeah, and we weren't far from it and it's free yeah Free, 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 free. And being that we've been to a sulfur spa yeah. already, that's what was intriguing because we can we understand this. Yeah, so it was pretty cool. Yeah. But um, it would have been interesting to see it back in its glory days. Yeah. It would have been fun. Have. I bet it was pretty. <laughs> I bet so. Today we're at Lackland Air Force Base. Mm-hmm. I've never been here before. As many times I've been to San Antonio, I've never been to Lackland. Yeah. Well, why would you? Well, it's still cool. It's still cool I know, place. but you were here for training medical stuff so yeah but we're gonna explore Lackland today we're gonna see all the we drove it in we saw all the cool like aircraft yeah so we're gonna check those out my brother was Air Force and he was stationed here yep before our niece was born here yep so we're gonna film a little bit of the hospital that she was born in so she can see that and um, whatever else we can get into yeah. on Lackland it's a beautiful day we're in shorts it's late January <laughs> it's we're in shorts today. <laughs> <laughs> it's 77 today. <laughs> all right here we go So, it's a little known fact about this aircraft right here. You see how it has two, two seats right there? Yeah. So one is the pilot, and the other one is so his wife can sit there and tell him how to fly. <laughs> For a minute, I that. thought you actually knew something about Air Force planes. <laughs> they don't put that on the plaque. <laughs> this is the Nightingale. The only uh, aircraft in the Air Force fleet that was specifically designed to transport patients. Yes. Could hold 40 patients, two nurses and a doc, is that what it said? And uh, four uh, aeromedical attendants. Medics? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Air Force got to fancy everything up. Aeronautical, medical, whatever it was. Attendants. Attendants. 
medic. They're not your flight attendant, they're your <laughs> aeromedical attendant. Can I get you a beverage? An <laughs> IV perhaps? <laughs> Would you like a Can I elevate food? your feet? Are you in shock? <laughs> Bless your heart. <laughs> We're not being very nice right now. <laughs> Anyway, this, we we haven't talked about any of the aircrafts, but we want to talk yeah. about this because I'm medical, so it's fascinating to see. Yeah. I wish we could see inside because it would be really setup. cool yeah. to see, you know, because we got to see the train. train. Yeah. And um, so we, it'd be really cool to see. Maybe we'll look online and see, we'll see what, it, what, what it looks like. like. I think that's the hospital that our, our niece was born in. It's closed. Yeah. Because they built a new hospital it's over there. There's a new one back there. It's fancy. It's pretty. Very it's not pretty. just like the beige. Very modern. Yeah. Very, very modern. It'd be fun to see what it's like inside. We're not going to yeah. go inside, but I mean, it's got the big glass on the front of it, so it's probably got a lot of natural light. light yeah. I mean, you could you could tell the other hospital is kind of like an older style well, it fit hospital. military hospital. Yeah. But look. a lot of the military hospitals are going now I'm with going the more modern, modern look. Well, we had an awesome time in San Antonio. Yeah. I think we had too much fun because we had way too much footage. <laughs> but, um,. So we had to split it in two, so if you haven't seen that video yet, yeah, go back and watch it. Because we had fun in that one too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think San Antonio is probably, well for me, our favorite spot so far. Yeah. I mean, but that's because we're familiar with it. We love the area. We knew we were going to have a good time in San yeah, Antonio. We were anticipating it and um, it did not. We hadn't been in a long time, so it was fun to go back. Yeah, it definitely did not disappoint. No. And um, just so much cool stuff and most of the stuff that we did was free, was free. yeah and there's we a didn't. lot we didn't get to do yeah. just because time of the year that we're here yeah we didn't get to go to Six Flags yeah we didn't go to Sea World. we didn't do the big big stuff but we we saw some of the littler stuff yeah and the free stuff and a lot of stuff on the and Army Post and the Air Force Base mm -hmm. and so we got to see a bunch of cool stuff and a lot of meetups that was one of the other parts that made it one of our favorite stop so yeah. far we got to see people man we got to meet up with subscribers we got to meet up with fellow youtubers fellow travelers mm -hmm. patrons i mean yeah. we met up with a lot of folks in san antonio yeah and that cool. was a really good time mm -hmm. um so if you met up with us in san antonio mm -hmm. you know Thank who you. we're talking to <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for seeing. it was awesome to see you <laughs> and we had such a great time with every one of we you did. and um lifelong friends every time we meet people mm -hmm. i think we, we're making lifelong friends yeah and it didn't even feel like we were meeting strangers so. no it felt like we already knew yeah. already knew them or they already knew us and didn't um didn't feel like you know a, a forced a conversation or, yeah. or awkward it's very natural it was just very yeah. cool and that's one of the things we love about this rv community about this lifestyle yeah it's just so fun to very get out relaxing. on the road um one of the things that we do at the end of our videos is we honor a fallen hero, but since we were on Fort Sam Houston, home of the combat medics, and I'm a combat medic, I wanted to, at the end of this video, honor all of the fallen combat medics from every conflict along the way. Um, medics do some crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. We run toward the bullets to get <laughs> the people that are injured. Yes. Um, we, do, we do dumb stuff, and sometimes medics lose their lives uh, because they're willing to do that to try to save their friends yeah. and so to all of those who have come before me and who have paid the ultimate sacrifice this uh, moment is for you we appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time bye